Still on the law enforcement front, the bodily correctional facility is currently exploring alternatives to connect inmates with loved ones and lawyers since the suspension of face-to-face -face visits. This intervention was part of measures instituted to keep the COVID-19 virus out of the correctional facility. Director of Corrections Hilary Herman attributes their COVID-free status in 2020 to these measures. However, after registering its first cases, including a related death in January 2021, Bodily Corrections has reinforced many of these measures. Mr. Herman indicates, however, that inmates maintaining personal and legal contacts is a priority for administrators. Inmates who get regular visits are better behaved inmates. Inmates that stay in contact with their family are better inmates. Um, so we um, would try to reinstate visits as soon as we can. With no definitive date set as yet for the resumption of regular visits, Herman says there has been an ongoing effort to introduce virtual visitation. We attempted to go virtual visits, but um, we have we had some issues with the tech on the technical side. I'm told that the bandwidth is too low, as you realize that I couldn't join you on um, on Zoom uh, by yes. Zoom because that it's a problem that we have within our area that um, it's either the um, voice or it's a, or it's a picture or. So we're trying to resolve some of those issues, um, particularly with um, uh, so we could do virtual visits, at least for now. We have no idea when we can resume in-person visits, but at least um, uh, start the uh, virtual visits. And the sooner we could do that, the better for us and for better for the inmates. Director of Corrections, Hilary Herman.